Good morning, and welcome to Andrew Dix. Um, we're back at the beach after five weeks, maybe six weeks of lockdown. We are back. Let's go see what's happened. There's been some storms. There's a lot of stuff on the beach. We'll see what's there. Um, just some scrap coins, ones and twos, fives. Surface find. Um, getting some really nice sounds out of the ground, so soon. Piece of copper. Another coin here. It's old. Ah, it's a six months. Silver. 1933. Awesome. On the board with a silver. It's got a nice little hit here. And we found another silver. Um, 1942 three pence. Silver number two. So I've had another nice little sound here. Um, the beach, there's been a storm at the beach and the whole beach has moved. Um, I think coins, some coins have been buried further and some coins have washed up. So it's sort of 50-50. Um, another little hit here. Here it is. Oh, it's hard to tell. I definitely think it's a silver, and I think it could be an English silver. Um, the beach has totally washed the face off it, um, but it lines up with a English three pence, I'd say. Silver number three. Woohoo! Not bad going. Probably a penny. Check this out. There's a metal strop here and a coin just sitting on the surface. Can you see it? It's here. Just sitting on the surface. It's an old 10 cent coin, New Zealand. Another English. English penny. I think it's 1922. Yeah, 1922. Crazy. Here we are again. Can you see it? Just sitting on the surface. And that could be silver. Oh, it looks like the old one cent coin. Uh, hey guys, uh, so Andrew Diggs here. So. Um, here's the cleanup. Um, very interesting day. Um, so that was the first time out in six weeks after the uh, coronavirus lockdown here in New Zealand. Um, I'll just show you what I found. Um, we'll just start with the scrap today. Um, washer, two pull tabs, uh, whoops, copper saddle, belt buckle clip. This is just like a shaving off a piece of metal, um, some, some lead, uh, key ring loop, 
I have no idea what this is. Uh, maybe copper or brass. Um, and some more soft lead. Coming to the coins. Twenty coins found. Um, a key. It's like an old uh, door key. Quite cool. Um, starting at the top. Nineteen twenty-two English. One penny. Another one penny. Um, you can't see that one, but that's a nineteen fifty-six one penny. A um, couple of twenty-cent coins. Yeah, there and there. A couple of tens. Um, Gosh, what are they? Five cent coins. I found five of those today. Um, I found an old ten cent coin. Two twos. Three ones. Finds of the day. Find of the day. If we can get that bastard to focus. There we go. The 1935 New Zealand sixpence. Um, was my first silver. My second silver, the 1946 three pence. And this last one is actually a silver. It's an English um, three pence. Um, I've had them come out of the ground like that before. I'm not going to clean that one. Um, it's very thin, and I've broken these before. Look at that. Just a little bit of tension will break that. So, yeah, not a bad day for old Andrew Diggs. Awesome to be out metal detecting again, and um, definitely finding some silvers. Um, so, I think, as I said before, I think... The, there was a storm and um, there were big swells and the whole beach has moved um, my little spot where I find all my rings is completely gone um, there's some huge logs on the beach and um, the whole terrain has changed so um, probably washed up a few silvers but at the same time probably buried a few silvers so yeah, all that will go on the scrap, silvers to the collection, coins in the jars. Um, thanks for watching. Um, thanks to all my new subscribers. I've noticed we've jumped from 14 odd to 90, so nearly hitting the big 100. Um, look out, because I'm going to do something very special for 100 subscribers. And um, happy metal detectoring wherever you are in the world. And take care, stay safe, wash your hands, and look after your family and your loved ones. But yeah, awesome. Cheers, guys. Bye.